No finer stadium in football, the Bernabeu, the setting for one of football's most demanding fixtures, the Madrid derby. Ronaldo! It doesn't get any better than that! What is going on guys, it's the Cash Dudes here and today I'm going to be giving you my reaction on El Clasico and my thoughts about the game. So before we start with this video, I want to say that yes, I'm a Madrid fan and I want to say that congratulations to Barcelona. They absolutely deserve this victory. They've played good. They knew what they they came prepared for a Clasico. They knew what they wanted to do. Their counterattacks were great. They pressured a lot through this game. They were organized. They had a good plan and I feel they played they they played really good. They could have probably scored a couple more goals but Obama Yang and Ferran Torres missed a couple shots they uh, I think they did deserve this 4-0 four, four uh, victory um, yeah Shavi got the got, uh, got the strategy right and he knew he knew how to put against Madrid so I think that really showed um, I think that the, the, I think that those counter attacks as I said last, yesterday really pay, like were, were really good there were times where Zembele would get the ball and take it up the field and you would just know that that counter is going to cause havoc so yeah congratulations to Barcelona they actually played they played really good they those four goals without a doubt that I know there was a bit of controversy that Obama Yang uh stirred, like I think it was like the third goal that Barcelona scored there's a bit of controversy if he was offside but it turns out he wasn't offside and he and that goal he chipped it over Courtois counted. So yeah, I think they played really good. And I think that this is this is also gonna give him more motivation to, for their uh for their Europa League games. And it, they'll probably um this they'll probably get second place in La Liga if they continue this form. Now to Real Madrid and Real Madrid I, I don't know what happened today, like this this team was fine before today. Uh, we showed brilliance throughout the entire season. Uh, of course, we beat that PSG team, and sadly Benzema wasn't there. I learned that he suffered from calf injury. But today, like, I don't know what happened. Like, I'm a big Madrid fan, and you guys know that. And it was just like sad to see Madrid play this way. Like sometimes. Like I was wondering why Modric was playing as a striker. Like he's a good player, but he's a he's a midfielder. We have Jovic and Mariano on the bench. Why don't we use them? Or maybe we would have changed the lineup. So I was kind of confused on that. Um, Vinicius Jr. made some tried making some runs on the left wing, but he would always get uh, stopped by the Barcelona defense. Um, I I think today it was just like it was for some players in the Real Madrid team. It was like they're. They're, like they're, it was just like not their day today. I don't think it was their day today for most of the players in Madrid. Um, it happens to everybody. Even this is like every team loses at some point. It's not just Madrid. It's also Bayern sometimes loses. Mid Liverpool sometimes loses bad. Man City also uh, have horrible results. Every team has that. But I think. Like, but especially after this, the first half, where I thought Madrid were gonna get, were gonna go score some goals, they, they just, they, they just, it, just, it was just like hard to see this game. Like, they just looked unmotivated. Um, they just looked, um, like I said, they looked unmotivated, and they were. I think I, I could tell something was off in the squad, but I think that it's important to learn from this game, and we know like what our weaknesses are and now we could start preparing for and we could start working on our weaknesses and preparing for other games there's still the rest of the season left we can, st we can st obviously i think we're going to win the league i'm still positive that we're going to win the league but i think we're, we're, we're st we need to prepare for the champions league because we have chelsea in the quarterfinals and they're a really good team so we need to start uh preparing for that and working on our weaknesses and i think and eh, this is just this is just like a bad day for madrid i think it was a bad day for madrid They've won the past five El Clasicos. The, um, they've been that PSG super team. But I'm thinking that one bad result isn't that bad. It's just one bad result. I think Madrid next time could uh, will play a better game for sure. But yeah, I love Madrid. I love, I love the players. And I think, yeah, I said it was their off day. Well, that's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a like. Hit the post notification bell for more content like this. Let's try hitting our goal of 225 subscribers. I know we can do it. 
and until next time guys peace so one all then a tremendous contest and now this free kick conceded by atletico right in what looks a perfect position for the majestic cristiano ronaldo is there anyone